Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Dead Frontier 2 video. I honest to God did not think I would be making another video on this game. The reason being is the game was announced dead by the developers who said he wasn't going to work on the game anymore. But luckily for us, he has seen the light and he is going to continue development. We've had a couple of updates, so I've checked it out. I'm liking them. I've spoke to him and I honestly think he's going to really you know get to work on this game and obviously keep up with the good updates so for people that don't know what dead frontier 2 is i'm going to show you a trailer for the game now for people that do look in the description below for timestamps so you can skip it and get straight to the new updates anyway let's get on with the video guys here's the trailer help will come right Right, guys so we're gonna leave it at that for the trailer i think the entire thing is about two and a half minute long i probably use like a minute and 15 seconds or, it or something like that i'm not 100 percent but anyway you get the grasp what uh the grass point definitely to is so let's get on to one of the main updates this, for me this is the big one this is the main one all right so now there's actually finally put a map in the game press m you get a map as you can see green door means i can exit yellow means i've not explored if it's red it means it's locked so you need a key for it um but there's nothing else here because obviously I've not explored this door, so I'm going to go through it. Now, as you can see, red stairs is down, green stairs is up. Now I've got this corridor, this will be here forever, I'm guessing. I've not actually played it for a server reset, I'm hoping it's going to be here forever. I really hope it's, really, really hope it's going to be here forever. But it might just be for one day. Um, let's have a quick look in here. Bam, new rooms added. So, you know, you have to explore to unlock the map, but it is one of the best updates that I honestly think is the best update he's done since the game got released because it, it was such a well-needed thing. Everyone was complaining that he was getting lost in these massive buildings because they are huge, huge buildings, and everyone was getting lost in them all the time, so this is a really good update. The next thing, uh, one thing I would like to see would be a like small arrow to show where your character's looking or a dot just to show where you're stood or something like that. But we're not going to get on about that part of the video yet. We're going to get on, we're going to carry on talking about the updates. I know he is definitely committed. He came into my live stream today. Um, I spoke to him. Uh, it was talking about like cosmetics and stuff like that. I was talking to him like prices and stuff. So he's going to be bringing some of the... I think he's going to be bringing... He's already knocked the prices down. I think he's going to bring them down a little bit more. Sort out, like, the credit prices and stuff. Make them a little bit cheaper. And good stuff like that. And also, when we was in there, I said, look, you should be getting more cosmetics on the store. So he's put more... He's put everything on the store now, which... Right, so there was loyalty rewards for Dead Frontier 1. This is the Vengeance Guard armor. You needed to own the Vengeance Guard armor in Dead Frontier 1, and you'd get it as a loyalty reward in Dead Frontier 2. And what I said to him is just stick everything on. Like, just stick it all on. And for the people that have got it in Dead Frontier 1, they get the reward of getting it for free. Like, that is fair. That is fair. Fair is fair. So he's put it all on that, cosmetics, buy cosmetics, so there's loads of cool stuff you can buy, look, double shot pistol, you can't really see that well, let's have a look at the long shot, stuff like that. But the reason I'm bringing this up, I know some people are like, oh, well, I, you know, I, I know some people aren't going to like this, but the reason I'm bringing this up is I spoke to him about this, and he updated the game within 30 minutes, literally within 30 minutes. 
Also, if we go into the Discord... Oh, we don't really want to see that. If we go into the Discord, onto the announcements, you can see the update here. Weekend event. Oh, okay. Oh, that's different tier one. Sorry, wrong one. Go into the announcements here. This is literally 30 minutes, this one right here. This is 30 minutes after I spoke to him. There was other people talking to him in Discord saying that the end game zombies, like the flames and stuff like that, they need to be stronger, they need more HP. So this is 30 minutes after people were saying this. They now have plus 50% HP, plus 35% damage, but don't worry, it's not going to kill you off. You still get plus 50%, you also get plus 50% experience as well. So that's technically a buff, if you think about it. That's technically a buff. Like, obviously the harder to beat now, but the end game is too easy for when you've got, like, when your character's fully decked out. So just try to make it more difficult by putting this in. And this is 30 minutes after talking to the community. So he is listening. He is doing the updates. People have been complaining for a map. We've got a map. People have been saying we need harder zombies. We've got harder zombies. He started doing mini up like basic account stash size has been doubled because people was moaning about didn't have enough space, so he's doubled it. And you can buy upgrades as well. People who already bought slot upgrades have had theirs tripled. So if you added before this update, it got tripled. Um, spawn protection in PvP reduced from 20 seconds to 5 seconds, but he's put that back up to 10 seconds. I'm guessing, he, yeah, we're a little bit low. Right, um, but as you can see, we've got some more updates here. There is now auto map to help you find your way around. You can now see other players' steam profiles by pressing E. The three outpost markers have been unified, meaning all buyers and sellers going forward will be linked. So now you haven't got to go to a certain marketplace. They're all joined together. To me, that's 10 out of 10. The price of skill reset also has been lowered to 100 credits. I think it used to be 200 <laughs> credits, so it's literally half the price on that. It's half the price on all the armor. You know, stuff that people have been asking for. And then again, street bosses now have a far longer window duration when they appear. So they stay in. So your street bosses now stay there a lot longer, which is, and again, another good update. And just stuff like that, you know what I mean? But he is working on the game again. That's all I really care about. I'm, I'm so happy he didn't give up on the game and we're seeing updates that, that's that's all I needed to see as long as he keeps working on the game I will continue to play the game I'll start making content for it we did have the blood bosses that I never actually made videos on because I stopped playing the game at that point and um, because that was kind of when the updates started slowing down and stuff like that uh, the Dead Frontier 1 reward page has now been fixed so you can see all that properly and he's also doing mini, right, so you get a mini update on the weekends now. And on these weekends, they do this in Dead Frontier 1 as well. So we now get weekend events. Like the weekend event for this week is a weekend event boost, plus 30% damage versus mutated. And it'll be stuff like that. You might get an XP boost, you might get a speed boost, you might get a damage boost. It'll be different every single weekend. But he's starting to do like events for the weekends and stuff like that. You know, when he's got the highest amount of players on because, you know, people work through the week. And the, the weekend is the best time to do it. So, but that that's basically it. He's working on the game again. I'm super happy about that. Um, if you ever want to catch me live streaming this game or anything like that, there'll be a link in the description below. Also, I'll be doing a lot more videos on this game. If the updates keep coming out, I'll keep covering the game. So that's that. It's back. It's getting updated. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it helped you seen the light yourself and you're like right the game is being updated i need to download it again go download it guys get another try honestly this map is a game changer and obviously with the, uh, with the zombies getting harder um there's higher level cap i'm hoping he's gonna add some more weapons for the level cap actually before i end the video let me talk about some changes i'd like to see so some of the changes i would personally like to see would be like a dot on here as we said um, I think that would just be freaking amazing. It'd help so much with working out where you are. Um, another one would be a new system because I get annoyed going through here. Um, it is rather annoying. Like, I've got Scar, you know, just scrolling through. If we go to full stats, like, if you could implement this, this right here, to on this screen somewhere, and take this stuff off here and put it onto here. So. If you could take this screen, put that in the middle, spread these out, and then have your stuff here that you've got equipped in order down here, I think that'd be so much better. 
And then just some categories, you know, food, medical, ammunition, weapons, clothing, stuff like that. I think that would just be amazing again because it just helps getting through stuff a lot easier so you're not scrolling through. And then, you know, mission items because you have this stuff down here. Keys or whatever, you know, just a couple of little tags here that you can just click on. That'd be 10 out of 10. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it. I think I'm going to end the video here. But anyway, guys... Definitely re-download it, definitely re-check it out. You can always support the game by getting a couple of awesome skins, you know. Also, you know, that helps with development and stuff like that with more updates. So, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.